<laughs> oh my god. So please witness the fact that <laughs> the great Mike Goldmark has very kindly made an extraordinary gesture of artistic generosity, which I accept with great humility <laughs> and thankfulness. More, more humility, please. I, I don't know how to thank you for this. <laughs>and it's, been, it's the one thing <laughs> that I want to write before I die. And this is about war. Yeah, this, this is, is, the, this the, is most, the most famous the work. The most famous book on, on war. On war, ever. ever, exactly. So you understand where my conversation is going now. Yeah. yeah. Can, anything, can anything be done at all? Well, for you to own this, yeah, yeah you, you <laughs> could give me a hundred thousand pounds, which would be very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you the book. Hundred thousand pounds. No discounts. That's with the discount. I'm already taking it off. <laughs> yeah. He you spent ten years of his life watching this. He had no camera because there, were, there was no camera in those days. So he would go and he would watch. If they, if he'd been drawing this, that had killed him. So he must have seen all these. And then hurried back to and his. And hurried back to and studio. started to etch. Oh. And then, and towards the end, you get Which these extraordinary, the extraordinary, um, extraordinary, extraordinary images. Yeah. How about yeah. 80,000? 100,000. That's really very cheap. But wow. you're, you're right in that this is the, this is the epitome. Yeah, it is. And it we're is. still doing it. And we're still doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I look at Syria. Le Aleppo. Aleppo. Yeah. Aleppo. We're still doing it every day. Well, I'm going to go and continue to have conversations with you about this book and many other matters, but just so I can earn the money to come by. I think I might get this one. What does your I like the illusion of it. Also, I know the cot does your and it immediately brings to mind the brightness, the sunlight on the on the blue water. And I like the illusion of it, because this is the it's a triple illusion, isn't it? It could be a painting of of the open sea, a window, a porch out into the open sea. Or it could just be the painting of a painting, with that as an illusion of an open sea. There's an ambiguity about what is real and what is not, what is inside and what is outside. And it's really done through layers, the uh, interpretative layers of colour, what the colours tell our senses that we've been trained to read in a certain way. Again, it's language and image. For many people, just cut does your conjures the whole mood, landscape. I'm going to now do a negotiation with Mike as to the price of that. Hopefully, I'll be lucky today. Mike! Can we have a small conversation about the Picasso? I mean, I have lots of different types of Picasso. Why do you feel that was special? Why do you? Well, because this was him doing an advert for his own stuff. Mm. You know, for yeah. his own show. Yeah. 
So he would want that to look fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So he picks this image and he does the writing himself and he puts a signature in, that's in the plate, the signature. Um, but it's amazing. These were stuck up around the, in the streets. Oh, it's a stock up in the streets. Yeah, yeah, this is a poster. That so makes not it, many of them survived. That makes it even more beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Mike, we'll shake on it. Okay. We have a deal. Oh, you're I'm getting that one, are you? Yeah, hmm? yeah yes. Fantastic. I always love coming here, Mike. It's always... It's always, um, it's like going to a temple. It's always very calming, regenerating. One comes away full of ideas. One comes away expanded. Different yeah. people feel different vibes when they come in here. Yeah. But a lot of it depends on where they're coming from. It depends on where they are. It depends on where they are in their, in their, in their, in their life's journey. Yeah. Wonderful.